Hey everyone, it's Jack again with Toy Dojo, and I'm making a quick addendum to the um, video I did for Ditka here. I'm gonna attach it to the uh, to the current Ditka video, and uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it, but I just wanted to cover a few things that I had found out, um, you know, after I made the review, and then I kept messing with the figure itself. But I want to give a thanks to uh, One Way Down, YouTuber One Way Down. Uh, he left a comment. Uh, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before asking if uh, this one piece on the bottom of the tank there can be adjusted to make him sit better in, in uh, plane mode there. And I thought I had messed with it, and then it turns out I guess I didn't mess with it. And then so when I did it, thanks to him, I was able to figure out that, you know what, that it will stabilize itself. It's kind of weird because it shouldn't be used for that. It really should utilize the uh, landing gear here. So that, and then there were a lot of you guys saying that you didn't like the robot mode because it just wouldn't... Uh, stand well and, and all this. So we're going to take a look at that again too just to make sure. And then another thing else that I uh, saw as well. So uh, one way down you asked about this piece right here and that sure does in fact fold up like this. And so by doing that that in fact makes it stable. So now it will stand straight up like that. So that was my fault. I thought I had messed with it and I thought it, I thought it didn't flip back all the way but I guess I really didn't mess with it. So but even at that, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird that they would have to make this help stabilize it instead of just relying on the landing gear themselves. So, but either way, you know, that's cool. So it stands there uh, like that. And the second thing is, as I was sitting at work yesterday, messing with this, I was looking down here and I noticed this little purple button right there looking deal and I thought what's that for so I was trying to mess with it and then come to find out that I mentioned this thing doesn't pop off well if you actually stick like a screwdriver or something in there it'll allow this piece to pop off so I'm gonna take this and take these little scissors they're a little bit stronger and just kind of sit there and push that in and once you push it in it allows now if you push it in all the way let's mess with that here a strong little button and I'm guessing that I mean obviously that's what it was made for there you go you push it in and it allows for this to pop off and that was way too close but either way it allows for this piece to pop off here the turret with the barrel it pops off and so I was like oh wow look at that I didn't even know that so optionally you could take that off if you wanted to and have the uh, tank uh, turret taken off and just have the plane sit flat if you wanted to so that's another option that you can do uh, what are you going to do with this after the fact? I have no idea. Um, it's a bit of part forming, I guess. But uh, that does give you that off if you want that. And I remember I mentioned that it wouldn't come off, but it does come off. So there's that there. And then that leaves, again, just this open piece right here. But it does go. There's, there's that button right there I was talking about. You can see it right there. And then um, I'm messing with this. When I took this off, I was sitting there messing with it and thinking. Because I remember seeing a picture that this was supposed to flip up. And so, I didn't want to break it, but I was like, you know what, if I break it, but I didn't. So it does actually lift up. So again, my fault saying it didn't lift up, but it does. I guess what it was, when we look at that there, that hits that plastic, and when I was trying to mess with it, I was scared of it snapping, when realistically it has to just get past that little groove right there. So when you flip it up, it basically just wears against that little piece of plastic that's right there, so... There's that right there. So that does in fact do that. Uh, that's still kind of hard to push in and out, or push in rather. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna pause right here and just put him into his robot mode and let's take a look at that. So I think that was it that I wanted to cover as far as this here that I had uh, skipped out on. So be right back. All right, so here he is in his robot mode. Now the one thing to keep in mind, you guys, this is an early test shot of this figure, so it's nothing close to even being final yet. So there are things that can change. Uh, before this thing becomes final so just make sure you keep that in mind uh, as you watch this video uh, then when other reviewers put theirs up as you watch theirs keep in mind this is an early test shot so uh, don't think that hey this is that bad and this is what we're gonna get because I'm sure we're not like I know a lot of you guys kept saying that the face here needs to get painted that's one thing that I'm pretty sure that when they release a final one it's getting painted that one and then this one here and it comes with uh, you know the one with the ideal there so um, that was one thing, question-wise. Another thing I heard a lot of people saying, or didn't hear it because I wasn't listening, but I read, um, was that he has toothpick legs. 
And when you look at him, I mean, I guess he does look like he has toothpick legs, but I think it's because of the backpack. So if we were to take this away and look at them, the legs themselves actually look to be a good size for him, you know, for that body. So I think it's because of this that they look like toothpick legs when they're really, really rather not. You know, they're good proportion for his body there. So, but this massive thing makes it look like that. And then I remember uh, Gewalt had a large backpack as well. And so it's like, I think that this just the, the con, I guess, for a Blitzwing because you got to make the, the backpack out of the, the tank mode. So uh, this one is more of the uh, G1 toy look to it. And also the G1 cartoon because in G1 cartoon, his backpack still was like this there. So there's that. Uh, the legs on this one, they're, they're still wobbly. There's no way for me to get around that. Uh, they're still that way, so that's something that, you know, I'm sure they're not going to have this out for the final one, I'm sure. And so, uh, I encourage you guys, when other reviewers put up their videos, to go check theirs out as well. Because there may be things that maybe I missed that they found. And uh, that's why it's always good to have different reviewers looking at stuff and getting everybody's opinion on the matter. So, uh, I know I do that. Even though I make the review, I still go look at others uh, when I see them and just kind of see if there's some stuff that I had missed. So, um... Anyways, another question was this here. Do the legs stay like this or when they open are they in the ace dance? And so I guess they do do a little bit of an ace dance. So I'm gonna go through the, the ranges there. So that's that's basically straight up right there. And we're gonna do one click on each side. So that's one click. And then, let's see, do it again. One click there and one click there. So that's the stance he gets when you open it up one time right there, all right? And then you open it again one more, and one more, and it gets wider and wider from there. So, but if you don't want him standing straight up, you open it one and one, and then you can tilt the feet, and then give him a better uh, standing there. So, again, that's that's on you if you uh, if you think that's too wide of a stance for right, at, you know, for the first click on this, I guess, if you will, for that ratchet or what. Um, but again, I think once it's said and done, I mean, he can probably get into some good poses. Let's see here. Looks like he can. I'm not one to do great dynamic poses because I don't mess with my toys when they're sitting on the shelf, my figures. No, I just leave them up on the shelf. So I'm not one to actually sit there and put them in different poses. So. I guess his leg won't bend all the way up because it looks like he's rubbing me up against that hip skirt bottom there. So let's see. Yeah, no. Again, with these knees the way they are, it's not going to let it, you know, get too, you know, I guess too, uh, I guess that one's okay right there. It's kind of standing okay right there. Surprisingly because of those knees, but it is locked in so he's gonna sit like that now. He's kind of you know, obviously it's kind of weird because he's kind of leaning back, but I guess the point of me wanting to make this video is I wanted to show off the things that I had noticed after I did the review and then also just to uh, To talk about the legs here uh, since I saw a lot of questions about the legs themselves, so Keep going out of focus there for some reason quit on focusing all right, so um, I guess that's it. Like I said, I didn't want to make this video super long. I just wanted to make it rather short. So thanks again for watching, you guys. If you like what I do, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, leave a message down below. Even if you don't like the way I do my videos, let me know. I mean, I can't get any better unless you guys uh, tell me about it. So thanks again, you guys. And until next time, stay safe.